Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how we can reflect points over a given horizontal or vertical line. In this case, we have y equals negative 3. So I'm going to draw that in the graph right here. y equals negative 3 is a horizontal line. Then I'm going to take these points, a, which is negative 2, comma 3, b, which is 6, comma, negative 4, and c, negative 3, negative 1. I'm going to reflect them over the line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the new points, a prime, b prime, and c prime, and see if there's some sort of connection. Maybe I don't have to do this on a graph, and I can just do it mathematically. Well, a is currently up here at 3. The line itself is at negative 3, so that's a distance of 6 away. So now I want to put a new point, a prime, which is 6 away from that line of negative 3, but on the same x value. So here's a prime down at negative 9 for the y value. So I'll write a prime. It's still at negative 2 for the x, but now it's at negative 9 for the y. Likewise with b, I'll write b prime. If it is reflected, well, it's 1 away currently, and it'll then still be 1 away. So b prime would be right here at 6 comma negative 2. Now I can see that uh, I can see that my x value isn't changing. The y value is. The question is, what math is happening to go from 3 to negative 9 that is the same process to go from negative 4 to negative 2? Well, let me think about what's happening with this y equals negative 3 line. We identified that a was 6 away, and then it would be 6 away again. And we identified that b was 1 away, and it would be 1 away again. So let me think about these points, 3 going to negative 9, or negative 4 going to negative 2. Well, I said 6 away for a, but then I said 1 away for b. So what's happening is these distances are going to be 2 times away from that, right? The distance between a and a prime are 2 times the distance from just the line. So what I'll do is I'll take 2 times that line value of negative 3. So 2 times negative 3, and that gives me negative 6. So somehow I'm going to have to use this value of negative 6 to relate to the y value of 3 and relate to the y value of negative 9. Well, negative 6 minus 3 gives me that negative 9, but why am I just subtracting these values? Okay, great, I got negative 9 for point A. Let me try that again with, with negative 6. Let me subtract negative 4. So negative 6 minus a negative 4, that's going to be negative 6 plus 4, which does give me my negative 2. So somehow I'm multiplying this line of reflection by 2, and I'm going to subtract the original y value, and it's going to give me my new x value. Well, let me see if that works. Is that going to work for c prime? Well, I'll still have negative 3. I know that x isn't going to change. And here, if I take 2 times the uh, y line, which is negative 3, well, that still gives me negative 6. But now I'm going to subtract this original y value. So negative 6 minus a negative 1 is really negative 6 plus 1 which gives me negative 5. Let me see if this is the correct point. Let me go over to my graph. Let me plot negative 3, negative 5. Okay, negative 3 and negative 5. Well, that's still 2 away, just like C was. So that's going to be our process. We're going to be taking whatever our value is with H, and or I'm sorry, with Y, and we're going to be multiplying it by 2 and subtracting the original Y value. So the rule looks like this. Whatever x and y is, if we are reflecting over a y equals, we'll call it k line, where the number k is the line, well then we are going to rewrite those x, y coordinates as x stays the same, but then take 2 times k minus your original y value. And that's going to give you your new coordinate. How is this going to apply to a x equals a number line? Well. It's going to be the same thing, except we're doing that modification with x. Hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.